യുവ ഗ്രേസ് ആൻ്റണി ആനന്ദറായൻ യുവ ഗ്രേസ് മൈക്കൽ അഗസ്റ്റിൻ ഫാദേഴ്സ് ബ്രാദേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് സിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് വെരി സ്പെഷ്യലി മിഷനറീസ് ഓഫ് ചാരിറ്റി ഇൻ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്ലേസ് ഐ വിഷ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു എ വെരി ഹാപ്പി ഫീസ് ഡേ ഓഫ് സെയിൻറ്റ് സീസ് ഓഫ് കൽക്കത്ത ഷി വാസ് എ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഇൻസ്പിരേഷൻ ടു ദ വേൾഡ് ഓൺ എ ഫ്യൂണറൽ ഡേ her fame was seen the whole world was there at her feet in calcutta indo stadium kings queens presidents prime ministers innumerable all because their loved mother they had learned something new from her too many things to say but i just keep before you two incidents which make her the greatest missionary of this millennium not only of the se- of the century many people came to her like desmond yog without faith <coughs> they went back with faith desmond yog the correspondent of bbc he had come to cover a program with madhu teresa he went back converted became a catholic lived a catholic and wrote a uh, one of the most famous books on her something beautiful for god navin chawla the chief election commissioner was in delhi as a ias an officer when mother went to the gov- governor of delhi he was helping her i mean uh, that was his duty to take her to the governor after meeting her for him as he told me it was love at first sight he fell in love with her totally and later on you know that he accompanied her wrote the best biography on her life which is translated into every language and most of the indian languages we have a translation of that mother teresa's life and she told me he has be- he has become my friend also because we met while canonization of mother teresa i was the head of the true tribunal set up for beatification and canonization and he was one of the witnesses also apart from a few other information that he would give and he said it was for him love at the first sight he remains what he was a hindu in spirit he became a missionary of charity today he runs a very big leprosorium in delhi for the leprosy patients lesson he got from mother from titaka in calcutta and he says he lives the life that mother had taught him a life of simplicity life believing in god and seeing the face of christ on every poor and needy person all of us are missionaries many of us so to say we fail to see the face of christ in the poor in the needy in the rich in everyone she was able to see and those who learn some lesson from her they learned the art of looking at getting the face of christ in the poor and the destitute as we celebrate her second feast day after canonization she was canonized last year on 4th of september and the 5th was the first feast day after canonization it was it was a grand grand ceremony in rome where i was present and today we are here i wish 
all of you a very happy feast day again and hope that inspiration of mother looking at the face of Christ in the poor and needy becomes a reality in your life and in my life. Mother's example is picked up by millions all over the world and I am sure you and me will do something for those people who need a helping hand to live a dignified life, a life of Christ, by seeing the face of Christ in the poor and the needy. May God bless each one of us to continue the spirit of Mother Teresa, thirsting for Christ and giving the love of Christ to everyone.